the newest model of the Accord is a good option for a family sedan. It is spacious, useful, and simple to operate. If you choose the hybrid powertrain, it also boasts remarkable fuel efficiency. Only the Touring, the Accord's top trim level, offers some of the most cutting-edge technologies and features. The 2024 Honda Accord is a modern and useful family vehicle with a guarantee of 10 generations of improvement. And it's still among the roomiest and best-built midsize sedans available. One of the things that makes the Accord so great is its continuing ability to be practical without getting dull. The Accord of this year is the 11th generation model, which made its debut last year. For this generation, it represents a notable advancement since four of the six Accord grades now come standard with a hybrid powertrain. The powertrain of this 204 horsepower hybrid gives up to 44 combined MPG depending on model, which is a high figure for a car in this class. If a hybrid is not what you desire, the base Accord models have a four-cylinder turbocharged engine with 192 horsepower. The new range of technical and driver assistance systems that are featured includes the 12.3-inch infotainment screen and integrated Google Assistant, which works like a smart speaker for your car. We evaluated the Accord Sport L's hybrid drivetrain. It works excellently in daily driving to improve fuel efficiency without sacrificing performance. Our Sport L test vehicle reached 60 miles per hour in 7 seconds, which is quicker than the majority of rival midsize hybrid sedans and the most recent Accord we tested with the basic turbocharged engine. This powertrain doesn't have a gearbox in a standard way, but Honda has skillfully modified engine RPM to simulate the shifting movement of a traditional automatic gearbox. The Accord lacks the hallmark seamless agility of the previous Accords but is nevertheless respectably grippy in turns when it comes to handling and steering. The Accord does an excellent job of isolating unwanted noise from the cabin. When the car is powered by electricity, there is even more quietness. The Accord's driver's seat like those in other Honda vehicles, could use a bit more padding, but it has enough adjustment options to allow almost everyone to find a comfortable driving position. The temperature control system in the automobile is more than enough for heating and cooling. However, a critical issue is the emission of back seat air vents on various trim levels. Our test vehicle had 19-inch wheels, and it had a fantastic ride. It endured significant bumps and bruises with ease and maintained its poise throughout our time with it. With its smaller wheels, the XL trim, in our opinion, would be even better. The interior of the newest and most latest Honda Accord is back to simplicity, with a straightforward center stack and large, simple buttons and knobs. The learning curve is practically non-existent, which is exactly what we look for in a car to appeal to everyone. Large door apertures make it simple to get in and out of the car, though taller passengers should be careful not to hit their heads on the sloping roofline while stepping into the back seat. Although taller back passengers may also brush the headliner, both rows offer outstanding space overall including plenty of legroom. Thin windscreen pillars and a large back window prevent any significant blind spots from obstructing the driver's view. However, we discovered that raising the driver's seat too high made it impossible to see the entire gauge cluster, this could be a problem for shorter drivers. In our test car, the 12.3-inch touchscreen was available. You also get cordless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Honda only offers connectivity for the Google Speech Assistant and services on the top tier touring trim, though. It feels like unnecessary gatekeeping because it's a technology development that might greatly improve the entire experience of the lower trims. 
If the Sport L test car we had had an option package that featured the optional Bose system and Google Assistant, it would be a game changer. The driving aids included in the Honda sensing system work very effectively. The lane keeping system can occasionally be too invasive, but when everything is operating smoothly, everything is fantastic. We also value how simple it is to engage the adaptive cruise control by just pushing a button on the steering wheel. The trunk has a generous 16.7 cubic feet of space, which is more than enough for all of your stuff. Everything will fit without any problems, including long objects like a golf bag. The generous center console area has adequate surface area to accommodate smaller objects. You can find cup holders almost anywhere you move, and they can accommodate larger water bottles with thick sidewalls to keep them standing. The EPA estimates the combined fuel economy of the Honda Accord to be 32 miles per gallon for the base engine model and 48 miles per gallon for the hybrid with the smaller 17-inch wheels. On our test route for the Accord Sportel, which has larger 19-inch wheels and an expected 44 miles per gallon combined, we obtained 41.5 miles per gallon. This is still a rather efficient sedan overall, but it falls a little short of the EPA estimate and what we saw from other midsize hybrids on the same route. The Accord's value proposition is a tale of two opposing truths. On the one hand, the general build quality is among the best. Squeaks, rattles, panel gaps, or substandard materials were not determined to be problematic. This car seems like it will withstand the test of time and the rough treatment of the typical family without any problems. On the other hand, given the price, the Sport L test vehicle appeared a little under-equipped in terms of equipment. For comparison, a similar Hyundai Sonata hybrid cell offers more amenities for less money.